Hi guys. Had a comment from one of my regulars, Uran Turuslan, hope I got his name right, suggesting that I should make a car or a crawler bot powered by lemons or potatoes. Now, I've done something like that. I've made batteries with lemons and batteries with vinegar. Well, early last year with my granddaughter. So I'll put some links to those videos. I doubt that I'm going to get enough power to actually drive a small electric motor to run a car. But I'm going to give it a try. So I've got some potatoes um, with an old egg carton to put them in. I've got some zinc coated nails. And I've got some power cable that will have copper conductors in it. So I shall rig up some potato batteries and see what we can power with them. I've stripped some copper conductor out of the power cable and I've also soldered wire onto each of these zinc coated nails. Right, so that should give us some power. Got my cheap Chinese meter here. I think we'll be lucky if we get, well we should get about one volt. Yeah, just under a volt. That's not going to be enough to drive very much. I doubt whether it'll do the clock. But the plan is to cut each of those potatoes in half and then run another set of batteries and put them in series so I should get about 1.5 volts, 1.5 volts with a bit of luck. But I'll just see if that'll drive the clock. I wouldn't ex expect it to drive the clock but I'll give it a try. Not enough to drive it. Now I've got two rows of potato batteries linked in series, so we're actually getting 1.6 volts if I just connect these up. There we go, 1.6 volts, but we haven't got enough current even just to run this little fella. I just put that in the positive side, that on the negative, and nothing. So we got the volts, but we haven't got the current. So there's no way that's going to run an electric motor to power a car. So we don't have enough current coming out of the battery, a potato battery to run this clock. So what I'll do is I've taken the circuitry out of this solar rocker which needs very little power to get it going. See he's just beginning to rock a bit there. So I'll disconnect this little solar panel and try running it from the potato battery. Negative to negative, positive to the wire that went to the positive. And away we go. So we've got a potato powered solar rocker. but there's nothing like enough power there for me to drive an electric motor. So no chance of an electric powered car or a potato powered car. Got one of those little pager motors. Um, I actually get them out of vibrating toothbrushes. But we'll just give it a try.
nothing, not even a beginning of a movement. Just check that out with a. It's a three volt battery, but uh, the one and a half volts I'm getting from here is doing absolutely nothing. There's just not enough current. There's one other thing I can do. This is the circuit board out of one of those little solar lights that sits in the garden um, and charges up a battery normally. I've got it rigged up to a little capacitor there. Ah. In fact, if I turn that light off. Right, so we're getting some charge out of the battery, the potato battery, going into the capacitor. And then if I take it off, there's enough charge in there to flash the LED. So that's not coming directly from the potato battery, that's charging up the capacitor with a little bit of current, a little bit of voltage. And then when I disconnect, the capacitor discharges through the LED. So we're really talking tiny amounts of current here. Um, probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'm pulsing it on and off. So which we're actually lighting an LED with one and a half volts of power, one of one and a half volts of potato power. You can't actually light the LED directly with one and a half volts, but by charging up that capacitor, the discharge allows it to light up the LED. Summary time. The question was, could I make a potato-powered car or crawler bot? Potato or lemon? Um, haven't got any lemons, so I've used potatoes. I've got two parallel strips of potatoes here. Get about 0.8 volts or 800 millivolts out of the back strip. And 800 millivolts out the front strip. So added together in series, I'm getting 1.6 volts out of the potatoes, but virtually no current. I've got enough to drive this solar mover that I've taken the solar panel off and I'm running it direct. I've got enough power to charge up that capacitor from one of those garden lights um, so I can get the LED to flash but I haven't got enough power to run the clock and I haven't got enough power to run any of the electric motors I've got so can I run a car with potatoes? No. Could I put more potatoes in and make a bigger battery? Yes but by the time I've added enough potatoes to run an electric motor, there still won't be enough power in that motor to actually move a couple of pounds of potatoes in weight. So I'm not going to go any further on this one. If somebody else can do a potato-powered car, good luck to them. But I'm going to stop at this point.